So I came to the gym here to meet Trey Massey. And then I'm the last sibling of my nuclear family. He is almost 64 years old from Laurel, Maryland. All four of them had suffered strokes. In the gym, training today as a contestant to be named Mr. Health and Fitness by Muscle and Fitness Magazine. Six years ago, he weighed 350 pounds. Now he's down to 180. And when he heard two political figures, including his Maryland senator, Chris Van Hollen, had strokes over the weekend, he told me he thought, there you see, it can happen to anyone, and he ought to know. I've learned that from personal experience in terms of losing my family members. All but one of the people in this vintage family photo are gone, either from stroke or its complications. Trey's mother, father, and two brothers. Trey is the only survivor. So six years ago, at 350 pounds, he started dieting and had some small success. And what I tell everybody is to start small. Don't think you can change your diet. Don't think you can include exercise overnight. Believe me, my exercise didn't start with me spending an hour to two hours in the gym lifting. My exercise started with maybe a half a block walking. According to the American Stroke Association, stroke is a blood blockage or bleeding that damages the brain. And among the risk factors is high blood pressure, obesity, diabetes, and smoking. Dr. Mark Baker is with George Washington University. But as our population continues to have relatively sedentary, unhealthy lifestyles, especially during COVID, I think we're seeing, you know, stroke continue to be a problem within our population. And I think it's something that if we're able to take care of these other underlying medical problems, we can hopefully see that number go down. You've got to wake up. You've got to listen to your family history. And yeah, I can't change my genetics, but I sure as heck can change my risk factors. At the gym with Trey Massey, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.